What is up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. Today we're going to be starting some seeds, carrot seeds to be exact, in a deep mulch system. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Before we go back there and plant all those carrots, let me show you how I'm starting some seeds up here by the house. Check this out. So this right here is my makeshift greenhouse. <laughs> it was a old greenhouse tarp like one of those greenhouses you can get from Walmart for like 50 to 100 bucks that the uh, the frame falls apart really easily on it but the plastic on the outside it's okay I've been using this for two years now as you can tell it's got a hole right there I just call that a vent hole <laughs> I'm gonna stick you in the vent hole so I can show you what's going on and I don't have to uncover so in here we've got broccoli and cabbage I did buy those right there, those starts from a local store, the Daily Basket right down the street from me in, in town. We also have some lettuces started and we're starting our own broccolis, kales, and Swiss char back there. I've got some bags of mulch in here to help radiate heat over the night so it can suck up all the heat during the day, the sun, and then radiate it out at night. So far, so good. I haven't had any problems, and they're starting to sprout, as you can see. So that's the makeshift greenhouse that I am starting seeds in this year. Eventually, I'll get myself a, a, a decent greenhouse out in the back. All right, so we've got all our utensils in the wheelbarrow. Now let's take the walk to the backfield. Made it out to the market garden, the deep mulch market garden. We're fighting the wind again today, guys, so I apologize if it's windy. I'll try to talk in between the big gusts so you don't get just an earful of wind nonstop. You've seen this before. If you haven't, let me explain to you a little bit what's going on. It's a deep mulch where the garden beds are actually mulched in hay and the walking paths are mulched in leaves and cardboard. It may be a little bit confusing on how to plant carrot seeds in a system like this because it's just not open ground. How do you do it? What's the process? How do you cover it back up? Do you cover it back up? I'm gonna show you how I do it. Step number one, let's try to get a semi straight line. How we're gonna do that is post, string, hammer. Just to put it right at the edge, right here at the edge of this first bed. Pound that post in. We'll take our string now, tie it onto this one. Now we're gonna walk all the way to the other side of the bed, put this post in tie it to that post so we have a nice straight line all the way down that bed. All right, the nice straight line's done now. Now we're gonna take a hard rake. The hard rake is this one. The soft rake is this one. Take a hard rake and right along that line, we're just gonna move the mulch out of the way. I'll take a hoe and just go in that little trench that we just made and disturb the soil just a little bit. Just make a little bit of little trench right here in the soil. Do any weeding if you need to right now. Gotcha. Let me show you closer now that you're in my hands. All right. So now we got the trench opened up. Nice straight line. Now it's time to seed it. We're going to use the sand method in seeding these carrots. We don't have any sand right now, but we're about to go get some. Back here in the woods, there is a nice deposit of really soft fine sand we're gonna fill this bucket up with all right made it back to the sand pit I'll call it sandbar it came from the creek when the last flood we had was cresting this 15 20 foot bank and just depositing a whole bunch of sand right up here so we'll use it just hope there's not a whole lot of seeds in it
Don't need a whole lot either. That's more than enough. Let's go back. And the reason you do it like this is because the carrot seeds are so small that you put too many carrot seeds close together when you're usually planting them. Then it requires a bunch of thinning um, and that's just more time thinning plants. We could actually get a harvest out of the ones we're supposed to be thinning. Unless you're using a jang cedar or some sort of cedar, that's the absolute best way to plant carrots. But then again, you can't do it in a deep mulch system like this. So we're gonna use sand to help cut the carrots so there's not as many seeds. When you grab and go a pinch of sand, there's only a few carrot seeds in it. So we're gonna mix up sand and carrot seeds into this little container here. So a little bit of sand, a little bit of carrot seed, a little bit of sand, a little bit of carrot seed. And this is just paper. We'll add it to the mulch. All right, we got our sand and carrot seeds. There's a little hole in the bottom of this. So I'm gonna put my finger over the hole in the bottom and then mix it up a little bit. And then we're gonna take pinches out of here and go and plant that row. This front bed is the one with the most weeds in it because it's right on the edge and the grass likes to encroach pretty heavily. So that's a constant fight in this first bed right here. Eventually we will win. Enough years of smothering out, it, it's eventually gonna die off. All right, so we got our container. We're gonna take a pinch, just like that, sprinkle it in. And as you're sprinkling, you can see you can distinguish the difference between the sand and the seeds. And you can tell you're not overseeding like you usually would. Let's go down the whole row. That's all there is to it, guys. Now I'm gonna take this post that's right here. We'll move it over to the other side of the bed, the other end and I'll plant carrots on that edge also. So we're gonna do carrots on this edge and this edge, and then in the middle, we'll do a brassica or a lettuce. So let's uh, move these posts over and do it again. Okay, so that's how I'm planting them. Now I've got one more step I wanna show you that will help you with the germination of your seeds. Now a lot of people have done this with boards, like wooden boards, but I'm not gonna use a wooden board. I'm gonna use something a little bit different that I already have here. I don't have a whole bunch of wooden boards that are 30 to 40 foot long to cover all my beds. So I'm gonna use something else, let me show you. You guys have seen me use this material before, but for other things, cardboard, we're going to cover the trenches that we just dig and planted with carrot seeds with cardboard. It's going to keep the seeds nice and wet, nice and moist. Carrot seeds need to be moist the whole time before they germinate. They're, they're pretty finicky when it comes to something like that. So if you cover them with a board or a piece of cardboard, you can keep the moisture down there so they can germinate and then you can pull this off so they can grow. Now I could cover it with this mulch here, but it could smother out the seeds to the point where it's not gonna grow. So with a cardboard or a board, you can put it over it and as soon as they start to germinate, pick up the cardboard, pick up the board, 
and then you can push the mulch back around those little seeds but don't cover them completely you could smother it out we are going to put a little bit of mulch on top of the cardboard so it doesn't blow away and then within 7 to 14 days these carrot seeds should be germinating and I can take this off I'll just peek at them every once in a while lift the cardboard up look underneath see if there's anything germinating if there is we're ready to go so let's see if we can do this without the wind blowing it everywhere first oh and I am not watering right now simply because it's supposed to rain all this week uh, so I don't need to lug water back here to water these dutches back up <laughs> oh, I didn't want her walking through the freshly planted bed so I don't need to lug water back here to water these because it's like I said it's gonna be raining all week uh, it's gonna rain here in a little bit so as long as I get this done covered it's gonna get wet and it'll stay wet Boom, now we just do the next row. So that's all she wrote. Two rows of carrots and the books. We'll be transplanting some broccoli in a week or so in the middle of this bed. Once I pull this cardboard off to give myself more room to work in between, I'll be planting broccoli in the middle of that. The next row up, we're gonna do beets. We're gonna do the same thing in the middle to where we have cauliflower, in the middle of the broccoli or in the middle of the beets next row back we're going to do radishes so same method row on the outsides on the inside we're going to do lettuces and kales and we got our garlic sitting there and then behind that there's an empty bed we can fill up with lettuces behind that there's onions behind that there's onions behind that there's onions but in the middle remember when we planted our onions we did the same thing as the carrots we left the middle open so we could plant some leafy greens right in the middle so thank you guys for watching on how to plant carrots in a deep mulch system and make sure you hit that thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe and I will catch you on the next one guys later <laughs>